So what are some of the challenges in communication? Attention span of audiences is very short these days. <laughs> very difficult to hold an audience. I distractions, you know, phone, message, you know, YouTube, you know, Facebook, you know, you know, you know, you know, like, you know, 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 so attention span is very less. Challenges in communication. 12% of people, if you ask to make a presentation, 12% will try to give it to someone else. It's a guy and can do this presentation. Why don't we ask Buddhika? Buddhika undai. 12%. 10% would even pretend to be sick to get out of doing the presentation. <laughs> so these are the statistics. And, and things are difficult, some difficult concepts. How do, we, how do we teach this? These are some of the challenges. Now, what happens is, let's say I am speaking to you, that's me, and I'm sending a message to you. In between, there is noise. So noise is all the distractions. Your other thoughts are also coming into your mind. Have you ever experienced this? Somebody is talking to you, and you are not in, hmm, 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 but you are thinking of something else. Many times. Suddenly, let's say you're talking to Upeksha, and Upeksha is saying, and you're thinking of something else. Oh, other at in the upper oh, oh. But the Upeksha, so suddenly Upeksha will say, so, 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 Hasela, what, what do you think I should do? And said, Upeksha, I, I missed that point. Can you tell again? How many of you have done it like that? So, what is that? What has happened? Noise. Noise. Even your own thoughts can be the noise, the disturbance. So I have to, if I'm trying to communicate with you, I have to break through that noise <laughs> to get to you. It's not easy. So to make sure. That's why I'm asking you, I'm asking, I meant calling you by your name. As soon as I say, Nayan, eh? even if Nayan was thinking of something else, Taggala, I must really come here. Hey, Namagiwa. <laughs> now the good thing is, when you are making departmental presentations, do you know the people's names, Vasanthe? You know the names. Now, some of you I have met before, few of you. Some of you have met in, most of you are meeting for the first time today. That's why we have the names. <laughs> so now I call your name, Dusita. He feels close because I'm calling his name. Eumi. Then Eumi feels, ah, Sanjeev is saying my name. So use people's names. The more you use, even somebody is getting distracted, Tankala Ayamathena. Because the name will always break through the noise. But remember, there is always noise. <laughs> That's one. Second is, there is always encoding and decoding. <laughs> I, will, I can tell you something, but you are interpreting that, you are understanding what I am saying, based on your experience, based on your knowledge, and based on your attitude. <laughs> we all have different experiences, correct? We all have different educations maybe. We are coming from different backgrounds. All of this impacts how we decode a message. <laughs> so you can be speaking very clearly. Let's say I am talking to Chintaka. Chintaka is a ganne, man kiyane de ganne through his filters. Yagi adda kiim tulintama is a ganne. So they say, nah, 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 ma, 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 pili ganne. I don't agree. Because of his experience. That's also noise. So we have to somehow break through all this, all this noise. <laughs>